What up, YouTube? This is Steven, and I'm back with some news regarding Miss Utana Hikaru. So this one is for the Utana Tots out there. All right, so before I be before I begin this video, I just want to speak on a previous video that I did, um, and it was about pretty much more or less the same subject, um, the title of Utana's upcoming album, and pretty much. Um, I wound up finding out that that album title, the U Testament, <laughs> um, it was actually um, a joke written written by a blogger. Um, J-Pop Asia picked up um, the title from that site, and as I mentioned on the video, um, I did find it a little suspicious that you know no official you know, Utara Hikaru, you know, source was cited in the source that J-Pop Asia cited. You know, no Utara Hikaru Twitter, no Utara Hikaru official fan page, no Utara Hikaru's daddy, like nobody, right? <clears throat> so I was like, all right, you know, rumor. But yeah, what like what kind of crumb bum like puts out a rumor like that though? You know, what what kind of a you know troll does that? You know, <clears throat> but whatever. You know, whatever. We have official news now. So again, you know, Utari Utari Hikaru fans, Utara Tots, it is crumb day again. You know, crumb day, and this time Utara has been you know, extra gracious and has decided to put some seasoning on these crumbs too. So there's going to be some seasoning on these crumbs. So, you know, be prepared. So let's get into this. All right, let's get into this. <clears throat> All right. Arama Japan reported, and also it was on Utari Hikaru's official um, website, that um, Utari Hikaru has revealed the title of her upcoming album. In addition, she has also revealed the album cover of her upcoming album and the track list of her upcoming album. So like I said, Utana Tots, there is some seasoning on these crumbs because really I was just like, oh, it'd be the title. But then I was like, okay, you got the title and you got the album cover plus the track listing. All right, so let's get into the story. All right. <clears throat> One month after finally announcing her eighth album and its release date, Utari Hikaru has revealed the title and the track list of her first full album in over eight years. Phantom is French, um, and it means ghost or perhaps phantom <clears throat> as well. I guess pretty much a ghost and a phantom are pretty much the same thing. Um, but people are translating the title to mean ghost, not so much to mean phantom, even though they're, again, synonyms. Um, which I wonder why that, like, I wonder why people are kind of not translating the album title as phantom. Another story for another day, right? <clears throat> um, and also, again, it's French, so I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. Um, I only took like a year in college and a semester, no, a year in high school and a semester in college. So I don't really know much of the, you know, French besides, you know, je m'appelle, je m'appelle, calculatrice, um, je vais utiliser mon ordinateur, you know, stuff like that. <clears throat> so I don't really know that much about French. But regardless, um, but before I move on, um, I just want to say that the French title did come out of left field for me, though, because I assumed the English title first. Um, but perhaps, okay, the title wasn't feeling English, you know, she's been shading the English language lately, she hasn't been really doing much with it. Um, okay, Japanese, you know, obviously that would be, um, the second choice, you know, <clears throat> Um, and I'll, well, I'll get into that a little bit later, but I just well, was going to say that, you know, all of the titles, um, of the songs on the album are in Japanese, 
but I'll get into that a little bit later too. Um, so yeah, I thought it was going to be English, Japanese, or Italian because um, her husband, you know, slash baby daddy is Italian. So I thought, okay, if this was um, Ghost or Phantom in Italian, it would make a little more sense as well. But the French part kind of just, again, came out of left field. I'm like, oh, you know, Tata, you know, likes the French now. <clears throat> Anywho, let's move on. All right, so Phantom will be a regular edition, only 11-track CD, meaning that apart from the already known Hanata Ba Wo Kimini, Mata Sui no Turiyame, and Sakura Nagashi, the album will, will feature a total of eight new songs. All right, so Utada isn't really about that you know, DVD, Blu-ray life, you know, she ain't going to be releasing like, you know, 15 different versions of the same album, like, you know, Ayumi Hamasaki. Um, she won't be doing DVDs or Blu-rays either, um, like other folk. <clears throat> she won't even be doing just a DVD. She's just going to be giving y'all a CD. So hopefully that will satisfy the Utada Tots. And also, um, I was thinking, like, what would she put on a DVD or Blu-ray at this point? Because her she got three videos, but they ain't really much anything special. I mean, they're, you know, kind of cute, blah, 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 but nothing really special. But I was thinking, like, she could do, like, sort of like an, maybe an intimate interview for, like, maybe 30 minutes to an hour and put it on, like, a DVD or a Blu-ray. Um, or maybe do, like, a day in the life of of Utada Hikaru and like people sort of follow her around for like a day and see kind of like what she went through as far as like recording the album is you know or something like that but no you know Utada again she is not about that life so uh, hopefully the 11 track CD three songs of which you already have Utada Tots hopefully you know that will satisfy you guys if it ain't, I'm sorry for you, <clears throat> but that's gonna have to, that's gonna have to do for now. All right, um, that leads me into the next part. Um, there's gonna be eight new songs, and some people probably are feeling a little bit not slighted, but kind of feeling like there could have been a, a couple of more songs, just because we already like the public already has three songs on this album more or less. You know, because she's released um, Sakura Nakashi like 55 years ago, and then she released um, the other two new songs um, around April. Um, so yeah, it's going to be eight new songs that the Tata Tots don't really know about. You know? Not, you know, nobody really knows about. And some people are thinking maybe it could have been a couple of more new songs, and really I felt like these Three songs should have been bonus tracks. These should have been really, to keep it real, these, the three songs that Utada has released should have been bonus tracks. If not the three, at least Sakura Nagashi. A bonus track, don't really count that and just put another track to replace that. So it's just like a bonus so you feel like you have a full CD plus just some bonus songs. But no, Utada Hikaru is not about that life. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> So again, um, she's just like, you know, this is going to have to do for you, Utada Tots out there. <clears throat> you know, and that's how Utada rolls right now. But I'm thinking like, again, though, she's been working on this album for, a, I'm sure she can come up with a couple of more songs to put on this album, though, now. Come on now, Utada. You've been out the game for a minute. I know you enjoying your life, you know, um, shagging your husband and having a kid and whatnot and being a mom. Like, I know that, but somewhere between all those times, you couldn't find, a, like, a couple of minutes to write another song, a couple of minutes to record a few vocals, a couple of minutes to mix a few tracks. I guess not. I guess not. <clears throat> all right. Um, let's move on to the next part of this article. Um both promotional images and album cover have been shot by French photographer Julien Mignac. 
Um, I don't know how to pronounce his last name. It's probably French. Mm -hmm. It's probably French, so I'm pretty. I'm sure I'm. I'm, I'm butchering this. Uh, <laughs> I told you I only had like a year and a semester of French. <clears throat> Where I'm from in the United States, French is like our. When it comes to foreign languages, it's like the second go-to foreign language. Our first to like our first go-to foreign language is Spanish. You know, that's our most popular foreign language in the United States. And honestly, it's prob you could argue that it's probably not even a foreign language because technically Spanish hasn't been in the United States since before English. And I guess you can arguably say that about French too, but not so much so. Sorry about that sidebar. All right. <clears throat> So about this um, promotional, like the promotional images and album cover. All right. So I was like, you know, they kind of just, I didn't have any expectations because I don't really have expectation, expectation, sorry. I don't really have expectations for album covers usually, you know, especially not Utsada Hikaru's album covers. I mean, let's keep it real. I mean, no shade, but. You know, happy face. And then it's like, um, sad face. Um, scared face. You know, just, um, not much range when it comes to a tiny card. Um, however, I will say that these promotional images in the album cover actually look pretty good. Um, I know the album cover is like a black and white album cover, you know, so... I, Automatically, I'm thinking, all right, edgy, editorial, moody, which kind of would go with the theme or the assumed theme of this album, which is ghost or phantom. And also, it is blurred, um, so that's supposed to add to, like, the um, the drama of it. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> um, and also, I will say that Utari Hikaru, like, she has found a hairstyle that really works for her. Um, I really think that you know, the hairstyle and the look that she has on the album cover is really kind of like model-esque. It has a bit of an edge with it. And it gives her a bit of a je ne sais quoi. It's probably the most glamorous that I've seen in Tadahi Hikaru look. She's not necessarily glamorous in or on the album cover. Um, but it's a nice look. So I will give Utari Hikaru a checkpoint for that, or her people, you know. <clears throat> Especially for Utari Hikaru, because she's really kind of like, almost like the anti-glamour girl. Like, she doesn't really do glamour. And I don't hold that against Utana because I know that comes from probably a place of trying to, you know, as far as, like, Utara being a woman, trying to sort of um fight back against like gender stereotypes and the what people want from a woman versus what a woman can offer i'm kind of babbling but what i mean to say is i think utari hikaru being an anti-glamour girl you know if that's what we call it or if that's what we're going to call it i think again it comes from a place of um kind of like wanting to you know, go outside of gender stereotypes because a lot of times women are expected to be really beautiful and beauty is like um, weighed so heavily on women, you know. It's like if you're not a beautiful woman, you're almost not really a woman or either, or either you're not really worthy of being treated as a woman, you know. So I think Utari Karu is like, you know, this is her way of challenging that and just being like, okay, I don't want to want to be a part of that. So that's, I think, for Utada being an anti glamour girl, that is her just kind of like her way of just sort of, um, you know, fighting back against you know gender roles and gender stereotypes and gender expectations. You know, <clears throat> so. For those reasons, I don't knock Utada Hikaru for not being a, a glamour girl. Okay, sorry about that sidebar and that tangent. All right. 
But yeah, on the album cover, she looks very, um, she has like a model-esque look, you know? She's going for like that, you know, the toned down model, kind of like on a go -see. Um, You know, she has like a tank top on, um, you know, very, you know, stripped, so to speak. I think that's probably like bare, you know, not like a lot of makeup or anything like that. You know, no flashy clothes. Again, just like a tank top. I think she was wearing jeans in another shot. And I think that that sort of works for Utada, you know. I think that kind of plays more into who she's about, you know. But also at the same time, like kind of like giving a different look. To, to Utada Hikari. Uh, so I think that the photographer and, you know, the style team and all who were involved did a good job in um, bringing these photos to life, you know? <clears throat> um, so yeah, I think um, as far as the photos and are concerned, I think for Utada Hikari especially, I think um, these photos are actually pretty nice. Um, you know, they look, they have like an edgy, editorial, moody type of feel with it. I, you know, definitely a moody type of feel with it, you know. And the blurredness of the photo really kind of, again, adds to the drama. And the look of Utada Hikaru. Um, I like the look, although um, I don't think the look quite matches with the theme of ghost or phantom. But... I'll let it slide, you know, I'll let it slide, because, <clears throat> you know, um, it's Utada Hikaru, and usually you don't really get to see Utada, you know, um, this, you know, on point when it comes to her, like, her hairstyle and her look. So, again, I'll give it a pass, you know. Utada can get, you know, a check from me. <clears throat> All right. Um... So that's the end of the article. Um, I was going to go through the track list on this video, but I think I may want to just end this video now and go through the track list on a different video. Um, because I have, you know, definitely some outland outlandish things to say about the track list now. Um, and my expectations and my, you know, predictions of what the songs are going to be about. So... You know, I don't want this video to be too long and you're like, hey, why well, I'm watching this a super long video. All right, so long story short, thanks a lot for watching. Feel free to comment. Feel free to subscribe. Feel free to give me a thumbs up. Feedback and support are extremely appreciated and extremely valued. And catch you guys in the continuation of this video. Adios and goodbye for now.